Okay, we've got something really interesting here today from MIT 2006, number 38. We've got the integral from zero to infinity, e to the three x minus e to the x over x e three x plus one times e to the x plus one dx. Okay, I got the idea for this method from Tojang 7626 in the comments for a previous video I did, which was really similar. I did a video titled something like Almost Frulani, recognizing the similarity of this to the Frulani integral. But what we have here from the MIT integration view from 2006 is basically the same thing, just with different constants. The video I did before was the general case where we had like B and A for the constants. If you watch the video for the 2006 integration B, most of the problems are a lot easier than this. And the contestants, I think the integration Bs were kind of a new idea then. And so the contestants weren't ready for something like this. So it just kind of doesn't fit with the other problems. Anyway, to get started with it, what I want to do is just focus on, forget about the x for the moment, and we're just going to focus on this fraction right here. And I won't spend too much time on this part, and I basically did it in the other video, but it's partial fractions, really. You could do like a sub, if you called this thing like y cubed and this y, you could do out the partial fractions formally, but I'm just going to kind of do it on the fly and create the numerator to get cancellation. So I'm going to create this e to the 3x plus 1, which is the same as this and then create an e to the x plus 1, which is going to be the same as this. And just notice when you subtract that out, the 1's cancel, and it's the same as our numerator. Then from here, what you can do is break this up into two fractions, breaking it on the minus sign, and then we're going to get all kinds of cancellation. And then what's going to happen, this is going to cancel here. This one's going to cancel here, just leaving 1's in the numerator. So what we're left with is going to be 1 over e to the x plus one minus one over e to the three x plus one. And what I'm gonna do is we'll take this, we'll put this back in the integral, but I'll write it a particular way. I'm gonna actually put this into the numerator and put it all over this x we still have here. So let's see how that's gonna look. But now rewriting it this way, you'll notice it's in exactly the right form for Frulani's integral. Just pulling, now that we have everything into the numerator, the function on it, like the f of x value, we can look at this right here. So just to be really clear about it, we're saying our f of x value is going to be just this, e to the x plus 1. But here, like this will be the f of, this is going to be f of bx, where b equals 3. So you input, like, you input 3x into this function and you get this. For the other one, this is going to be our f of ax where the a value equals one, so we're just inputting an x. So I know it's identical to this, but technically we're gonna have this, we're gonna call this our f of ax. So in other words, for a really quick way to do this, you need to do the algebra I just did, or maybe you can just see that and go from here to here. But once you're at this point, you can just use a formula. So what we're gonna need on it is gonna be, for the formula, we're gonna need f at infinity. This is, I know this isn't really the right notation. Think of this like a limit as, think of it like an, a limit as x is approaching infinity. But anyway, when you do that and you plug in infinity here, the whole denominator is going off to infinity, so this is going to be 0. Then for f at 0, you plug in 0. This piece just becomes a 1. You get 1 over 2, so the f at 0 part is 1 half. And so this, along with our a and b values, is going to give us everything we need. So f at infinity, 0, minus f at 0, 1 half, times natural log, the a value is going to be 1, the b value is going to be 3. But what we can do is take the minus sign into the exponent to flip it. I could do it all in one step, but let's write it out. So we're going to have 1 half natural log of 3, but then bring the half into the exponent. And for my final solution on this, we just get natural log square root of 3, and that's it. Okay, so there you go. I know in the older integration bees, a lot of the problems are really easy, and people say that in the comments, but this is kind of one of the counter examples where they snuck a difficult problem in there. Okay, there you go, an interesting integral from MIT 2006. Thanks everyone for watching, have a good day.